Good morning, children. I, I grew up in the Philippines, and Philippines is an archipelago comprising of 7,641 islands, although some of the islands are not inhabited. And I love to read books about fishermen, about ocean, about ship. Here we go. The story um, occurs in, in this country. He, years ago, there was a shipwreck that uh, occurred in the Pacific Northwest. Huge waves uh, pounded the unfortunate ship that ran aground. And the village near the, where the wreck is, a group of, a crowd of fishermen gathered to watch as the men manned the local life-saving boat. After a terrific struggle, the rescuers came back with all the shipwreck sailors but one. There's no room uh, in the boat, in the lifeboat for one. So we told uh, him to stay by the ship and someone would come back to get him. Who would like to go with me? A young man said, a youth raised his hand. As he stepped forward, a woman cried, no, Jim, don't go. Jim, don't go, please. If something happened to you, it's all, you are all that is left to me, the woman said. Your father was drowned in the sea, your brother William, sailed away and never, or never heard from him. Jim listened to the pleadings of his mother. But when he turned to the raging sea, he said, Mother, I must go. It is my duty. I must go. So they went with the young men. After a while, the lifeboat struggled on the strong waves of the sea, but they came back. And when the ship, the lifeboat was nearing, somebody cried, the people cried and said, did you get him? Jim said, yes, and tell mother it is William. So we have all the prime opportunities for evangelism in our homes, in our communities, and our workplace. The lives of many of these people are in eternal Jeopardy. Mm. We can be a witness to others, as Jim said when he went to rescue the sailors, the sailor, he said, It is my duty. It is a Christian duty. And it is a privilege of a Christian to rescue those people for God. Remember, we will experience the joy of the angels who rejoice over one sinner who repents. <laughs>